My name is Samuel. I'm from um, the Rice in La Perture area. Okay. And is this your first time here? Uh, yes, this is my first time. Um, this is one of our neighboring churches. Um, I'm also the deacon of Rock of Ages Baptist Church, which we worship in 105 University and Christ Lutheran on Capitol Hill. And um, a couple of the members told me about uh, the program they had going on here, so I, st I stopped in this evening. Okay. It's been, it's been amazing. Great. So my first question to you would be, what comes to mind when you think about food um, in Rondo or SoCal? Well, I think it's a great uh, thing, you know, because they have a lot of uh, community gardens throughout the Frogtown area. Um, also, over on the uh, the uh, north end, over where I'm at, um, it's, it's a good thing because um, the people can come out and get fresh vegetables and fruits. Mm -hmm and you know um, prepare their meals um, on a daily basis and um, we're trying to get a project going also with, with a uh, part of the Frogtown area okay. yeah so would it be like a community garden kind of yes thing? that's where we're, we're uh, heading for a okay. uh, community garden over in uh, on the north end over off of uh, Wheelock uh, Boulevard okay yeah. that's great to hear mm -hmm. um, and what's the connection between the food you eat, your community, and your culture? Well, um, me, uh, I'm, by me being a diabetic, I uh, stopped eating a lot of uh, red meats and porks and stuff. So now it's a fish and chicken mm. and turkey meat for me. Also, um, I make sure I have uh, my greens, my cabbage, lettuce, you know, uh, tomatoes. Um, it's a healthier diet, and when you uh, cut down on a lot of the red meats that you're eating, it, which is be healthier for you, and you also notice a change in your system. Yes. I agree yes. With that. Um, and what are the foods you want and like, uh, and can you get those easily in your neighborhood? Well, the food mostly. Um, I try and, and cook uh, greens like every other Sunday, and um, my best place to go get them is, is the Sun Foods uh, on the weekends because they have uh, a community garden that be there from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I go there and, and get fresh, you know, uh, greens there. Uh, also get my uh, fresh potatoes and onions from them. Um, if they have cabbage, I'll get it. But if not, I'll go to the regular store or uh, supermarket and, and get it. Um, but I think that's a great uh, thing that they have there. Also, they have another one, which is on uh, Pennsylvania Avenue and uh, Rice Street. But I think they should branch out a little more into the you know community and have that uh, going on. But it's mostly from the summer to the beginning of the winter that they does it. Yeah. Well, throughout the year, it would be at the facility over on Pennsylvania okay. and Rice Street. So there's, you know, because it's housed in the, mm -hmm. and they they can go there all year long right okay. there. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and where does your family go shopping for food? Do you stay in Rondo or, or Frogtown? Mostly, or yeah, we're, we're mostly in the Frogtown area, okay. you know, um, or we're... Uh, yeah. We shop uh, mostly Cubs, uh, all these, you know, uh, little Argentinians that, you know, we, we, we try and pick up. And we also go to the community food shelf, which is known as Keystone. And what we don't get from there, we can also get from the supermarkets or the stores. Yeah. And uh, by me being on supplemental uh, food support, and so I budget what I have and uh, I go and shop in you know both both stores mm -hmm. and also um, I, I take um, $40 out of my pay uh, every two weeks and I go to the Dollar Tree store mm -hmm. they have dollar items in there uh, like cheeseburgers little entrees mm -hmm. um, frozen uh, vegetables 
frozen meats, uh, bacon and stuff like that. So I'll go there and get, you know, the extras that I need also. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. supplement yes. with many different... Yeah, with many a different, you know, uh, places, you know, so right. I'll make up for uh, month supplies of, of my food, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what's easy to find in my neighborhood? Well, there's a lot of fast food restaurants, and which I uh, I treat myself once a month okay. to a, one of them, mm -hmm. either Chinese food or McDonald's or Burger King mm -hmm. or Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. um, they just opened a new Popeyes down there, but uh, by me get enough supply of. Mm -hmm chicken you know so I don't go there <laughs> uh, also um, there's a uh, um, through the neighborhood well from some of the stores we, we you know when you get your canned foods and uh, certain types of meat turkey meat you know so that's what I'd be mostly looking for when, when I go you know uh, to turkey meats and chicken so and fish and then uh, the summer I do a lot of fishing, so I have my own, you know, clean and cook my, my own fish, yeah, so. So, what would, be, what would you say would be hard to find right now in your neighborhood? Like fish or? Right now would be hard, yeah, well, it, it depends on the type of fish. Mm. You know, um, say for instance, like perch, mm. um, walleyes, it's, they're hard to find in some of the stores around here. Um, also, uh, silver bass. But, you know, tilapia I found to be a pretty good fish. You know, uh, you find a lot of catfish, um, snappers, and some, you know, they got a lot of fish I never heard of, so I don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and then, what have you heard tonight that you would like uh, to have shared in your neighborhood as we continue this conversation about investing in food in our neighborhood? Well, what I've heard so far, um, is that um, you know that they have their own community garden here at Pilgrim Rest, which is, I think that that's a great idea, you know, for the uh, congregation and for the community to come by and be able to pick and sh get you know what they need. Um, also, uh, another good thing is that um, the programs that they they put on here. You know, um, it also re they also reach out into the community and, and does a lot with the Frogtown area. So, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for that. And, uh, you know, um, I believe, you know, um, me as being deacon of, of a, another church and coming to, you know, fellowship with them on this, you know, day, um, I think I would be coming back on more occasions and fellowshipping with them. Mm, wonderful. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much. Okay.